Okay. Hey, what time did you get in? I thought we were gonna have a little date. I'm sorry, the meeting at the co-op went really. Uh, it's been a week. It would have been okay to wake me. I tried. I nibbled, I tickled, I bit you on the butt, nothing. Oh good, that's a hickey. I was gonna call a dermatologist. <laughs> Want to try for a quickie right now? You're killing me. I gotta be in court in half an hour. Mm, I'll write you a note. <laughs> Dear Judge, please excuse Grace's tardiness. He had to run an errand in my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Well, what about tonight? We could show the dogs how to do it people style. <laughs> I'd love to. I gotta drive to Sacramento and take a deposition. Oh. Okay, well, then I guess you're too busy for me to swing by your office and knock one off at lunch. To tell you the truth, I am. Oh, okay. One o'clock, don't wear a lot of buttons. <laughs> Got it. Hi, Marlene. Is uh, Dharma here yet? Nope. Perfect. Um, why don't you take an early lunch? I brought a sandwich. Well, it's a uh, beautiful day. Eat it in the park. What do I look like, a squirrel? A little. <laughs> in a cute way. Is, uh, is, is Pete here yet? He's not coming in today. Great. You want to know why? Not really. Hey! to waltz in here whenever he feels like it, and I have to get here at the crack of 10.30. Marlene, Pete just got a divorce, and uh, he's going through some hard times. Oh, yeah, real hard times. He just moved in with a stripper. Who doesn't speak English, and you can see how that would weigh on him. Well, isn't that terrific? We're all weepy for Pete, but no one cares about the pain I live with each no, and every day. I care. In fact... Why don't you take the rest of the day off? And just keep my pain all bottled up inside until one day the cork finally blows? Whatever you like, it's, it's your day. happened to your cork? Hot-blooded, check in and see. I'm hot-blooded, I'm hot-blooded. Hey, you're good. Do you know hot-blooded? Jane? Honey, what are you doing here? I raced home from Sacramento so we could, uh... He's hot-blooded. <laughs> I think you're gonna be home till real late, and Jane and I are gonna hook up with Marlene at a bar and help her meet guys. Why? Do you have any idea how long it's been since she has had sex? I don't wanna know. Four years. Four. You're kidding. I know. Are you feeling a little more compassionate now? No, but I understand how she was able to needlepoint that car cover. Uh, I'm sorry, but I promise I won't be out late. I'll wait up. Guess what he was singing? I heard him. Are you telling me I can make my own cottage cheese at home? Yes. Now you can select your own curbside. That's the car key. Well, then the apartment won't start. 
<laughs> Where have you been? It's 2.30. Would you believe that I have been at a bar all night long? You don't say. <laughs> Did you find a guy for Marlene? Yeah. Baby, but he's so picky nowadays. I mean, picky, picky, picky. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> You'll do just fine. Oh, smooth talker. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what do you say, sex delicious? How about you hold my hair back while I toss my cookies? And then you and me make sweet, sweet love. Thank you. Um, maybe in the morning? Everybody's so picky. I got it. Hey. Hey. Tatiana threw me out. What happened? Well, she was jabbing around about something all week. I finally got a Russian English dictionary. Turns out I make her sick. What are you doing here? I tried downstairs at Jane's. You know, I thought I could stay there a couple days. Maybe get a little sex with the ex. Yeah, yeah how'd that go? About how you'd think. Yeah. <laughs> I sleep on your couch? I guess so. I'll get you a blanket. Yeah, if it's any problem, you know, just say so. I I'll go to a hotel. Really? <laughs> no, it's just what you say. Morning. Morning. How you feeling? Like a possum curled up in my mouth and died. <laughs> you wanna fool around? That's okay. We've got tonight. And I'm not gonna let anything ruin it. Well then, here's a bit of a challenge for you. <laughs> promised that we'd go out with Marlene and the guy Jane and I are fixing her up with. Therma, if you don't love me anymore, you can just tell me. Oh, come on, I promise. It's a blind date. She doesn't want to go alone. Why can't Jane go? Because Jane and this guy used to go out and they had a big misunderstanding. <laughs> she thinks Jane tried to kill him. Okay, this is still none of my business, but do you think it's smart to fix Marlene up with one of Jane's rejects? Just because Jane went out with them doesn't mean the guy's a loser. Morning. Morning. <laughs> that proves nothing. I mean, it's not like I chose to be a poet. You know, poetry chose me. Because I like words. Not all words. I mean, I don't like canvas or nurse. Nurse? Well, it's rather a clumsy word, isn't it? Nurse? You know, Marlene loves poetry, don't you, Marlene? Oh, well, <clears throat> I'm no expert like Roger. You know, maybe you two share a favourite poet. Roger, who do you like? Oh, I don't read poetry. No, you see, there's always the danger that you accidentally copy something. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> tabula rasa, my friend, tabula rasa. What's that? Oh, it's Latin, yeah. blank slate. I'm a blank rasa. Or a blank tabula. Whichever one means slate. <laughs> you know, Marlene collects owls. <laughs> oh! Not real ones, no. <laughs> you know, little figurines, mm -hmm. pictures, anything with an owl on it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I love owls. <gasps> <laughs> well, I mean, I've never thought about it before, but now that I think about it... <laughs> I love the little buggers! <laughs> with their big eyes and all the hooing. <laughs> you know, they eat mice whole and cough up the bones. I bet there's a little bit of owl in you, isn't there? <laughs> Hi. Hello, stranger. It's 
never wait this long ever again. I hope I remember how to do this. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just like kissing a bicycle. <laughs> You don't think Marlene is sleeping with that guy, do you? Maybe. Mm. <laughs> so what's the plan? You know what you want, or do you need to look at the menu? No, I think I'm ready to order. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. What are you doing? I'm just going to um, call Marlene real quick and make sure she got home okay. All right, better hurry. The kitchen closes at 10. <laughs> Marlene, it's Greg. Are you there? Are you there? All right, cl call me when you get in. Damn it, she's sleeping with him. She's sleeping with him. All right, honey, I'll admit, Roger is a bit of a diamond in the rough. He's a moron in the rough. <laughs> if he works real hard, someday he'll be a moron. But Marlene likes him. Yeah, but she doesn't know any better, and you do, and you shouldn't have fixed her up with him. What, are you saying she'd be better off alone and miserable? Yeah, well, alone and miserable is better than being with some unemployed leech who doesn't like the word nurse. All right. <laughs> Forget about Roger. Let's talk about somebody who's had someone in their life for eight years and has completely ignored their suffering. So the fact that I mind my own business makes me the bad guy? Well, I am the one who's trying to help her get what she needs. Oh. Isn't it a little egotistical to think that you know what everybody needs? Not everybody, just the people I care about. Okay, all right, so she goes out with him, she gets her heart broken, and she's more miserable than she was before. Is that what she needs? Oh, so I don't know what people need, but you can predict the future. Yes, I can. Sometimes it's pretty obvious what's coming next. Good, then I guess you know you're sleeping on the couch tonight. Way ahead of you. And why are you lying out there? Remember, I... Good thing none of your friends heard that. <laughs> Pete, cut it out. That's not funny. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm really sorry. No, I'm sorry. You are concerned about Marlene, and I love that about you. Yeah, but she's a grown woman. She can take care of herself. Did you sleep okay? Pete snores like a cartoon bear. <laughs> Poor baby. Hmm. Is there any way I can make it all better? No. Well, just keep on doing what you're doing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey guys. Hi. Listen, we're sorry to barge in like this, but we didn't want to wake up Pete. It's okay. Can you guys wait in the kitchen? Greg and I were just about to have sex. Oh, isn't that nice? Come on, Larry. Rock on. What are they doing here? Abby and I are going to make homemade baby food. Well, she's just going to have to wait. Wow. Of you. You've never been able to do it with them here before. Well, it takes me a while, but I'm capable of adapting. Mm. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Your dad just took the Sunday paper into the other one. Sure. You're done adapting, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, what's the longest you and Larry ever went without sex? Oh, it was over a year. When he was living in Canada. What'd you do? Well, we tried phone sex, but he got arrested. <laughs> Why? Well, he didn't have a phone, so he's using the one in the laundromat. <laughs> Smashing day, eh? Carpe diem, my friend. Let's all just carpe the diem. Irma, Marlene and Roger are here. Hey, Greg, if you're gonna have company, do you mind if I go watch the TV in your bedroom? We don't have a TV in the bedroom. Well, I think we should think about getting one. Hey, guy. Hi. Hello, Dharma. How's your karma? <laughs> 
Roger's a poet. So I see. Oh, well, well, long date, huh? I wouldn't know. I'm walking on clouds. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I need an advance on my salary. Why? Don't ask her why, Greg. That's rude. It's none of our business. Fine. Why? <laughs> well, you know, it is spending all my money on my girl. I seem to have neglected my rent. <laughs> Since last night. He bought me a Grand Slam breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They're massive, really. <laughs> so what do you say? A couple weeks advance? No. Forget it. I'm not giving you money to give to him. Greg, it's her money. She can do what she wants no. with it. No. When it's in advance, it's my money. When it's my money, it's my rules. <gasps> wow. The capitalist and the artist, the eternal struggle. Marlene, listen to me. You're making a mistake. You can do better than this guy. Uh-huh. Come on, Roger. You can move in with me. Oh, super. <laughs> well, that's it then. Bye-bye. Thanks for everything, Dharma. Sure, good luck. Hey, do you have windows? I love a place with windows. <laughs> Believe that? Who in their right mind moves in after one day? <laughs> it's different. We got married. Pete, Greg, and I are going to be at his folks, so just call if there's a problem. Okay. Pete, did you uh, finish writing those interrogatories for the Beaumont case? Yeah, I'll get them. It's Sunday night. You've had all weekend to do them. I'll get to it. I just want to see how this ends. He saves his father from a whale and becomes a real boy. Hey! Do your work. Do your work. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Have a good time. Driving me nuts. He'll miss him when he's gone. You're awfully quiet. Is everything okay? I'm a little upset about this Marlene thing. I don't think I handled it right at all. Really? Do you mind if we're a little late for my parents? I just want to make a quick detour. Oh, roadside quickie. I knew I shouldn't have worn panties. Um, no, I, I just wanted to stop by Marlene's and, and, and straighten this out. I shouldn't be telling her what to do with her life. Oh, okay. All right. Well, good for you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. While you're up there, I'll 86 the panties, just FYI. <laughs> And there's nothing I can say to Marlene that's going to change anything. Now, look Don't here, mate, talk, I... listen. That woman's been my secretary for eight years. She's not very good. She's rather unpleasant. And frankly, when she calls in sick, I do a little happy dance. But so help me, if you hurt her, I'll be back. And when I'm done with you, nurse will be the most important word in your vocabulary. Right. So the whole salary advance thing is out of the question, is it? How'd it go? Great. I feel much better. Cool. Did you guys hug? No, but I think a connection was made. With Roger, too? Oh, especially with Roger. Hey, Ed. Hi. How's the party going? I don't like anybody here, and your mother won't let me drink. Okay, guess we're up to speed. Gregory, Dharma, you're late. Come along, Edward. There's someone I want you to meet. I hope his name is Johnny Walker. It's the Archbishop. I hope his name is Archbishop Johnny Walker. Want to mingle? Not really. <clears throat> Want to mingle with me? And before you answer, look at what I'm not wearing. I'll meet you upstairs. Everyone, all right, everyone. I know we're enjoying the food and the chat, but we are here for an important purpose. To tell me how thin I look. <laughs> Just kidding. But thank you for noticing. <laughs> all right, I do believe the Archbishop would like to make a few remarks. Thank you, Mrs. Montgomery. Don't bother starting with a joke. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of you for the money we raised tonight for our teen outreach program. As you know, the media bombards our young people with powerful and unabated images of sex and uh, promiscuity. But tonight, 
right here in this house. We are doing something about that. I believe we're having a bit of an earthquake. I think you're right. Uh, all right, everyone, we're having an earthquake. Don't panic. Just uh, put my liquor down and get out of my house as quickly as possible. <laughs>